More than 5,200 cases and 92 fatalities in the U.S. And each day we're seeing Americans retreat further and further away from each other in an attempt to keep those numbers from spiking. Natalie Brand is at the White House with more details on the federal government's response. The White House says it's asking Congress to quickly help Americans impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. Many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants. Americans need cash now, and the president wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says he will work with Congress to figure out how to make the legislation work. I know senators of both sides are eager to assist workers families and small businesses with the financial fallout of this extraordinary period. The White House is also considering a bailout for the travel industry. We must first prioritize economic solutions that are focused on workers and their families. The markets are up today following the announcement of the stimulus and President Trump says the economy will turn around quickly when the threat from coronavirus passes. It's going to pop. One day we'll be standing possibly up here. We'll say, well, we won. And we're going to say that. With dining in restaurants now banned or discouraged across the country, the president spoke with fast food executives this morning who are still open offering takeout or delivery meals. These companies feed a big part of America, and I expect they're going to feed a bigger part of America. In the San Francisco Bay Area, six counties have ordered residents to shelter in place to try to stop the spread of the virus. And the CDC is advising against gatherings of 10 or more people in any one place. That prompted Ohio to postpone today's primary elections. But voting is still taking place in Arizona, Illinois and Florida. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.